what happened was uh, he had started, uh, uh, Jobs had started uh, his own computer company called Next. Um, the hardware wasn't terribly successful, but the software was quite good, and um, Apple had, was in a position where it desperately needed software. So, so they brought, uh, they, they, the, Apple bought um, Jobs' company, uh, brought Jobs in as a you know, sort of advisor, uh, within a few months, the CEO was fired, and uh, you know Jobs uh, kind of stepped into the breach, and um, for a while, uh, you know, acted as interim CEO. You know, reorganized the board. Um, uh, you know, eventually became the uh, you know obviously the uh, you know the the permanent CEO. But um, uh, along the way, he radically reorganized the company. He put into practice many of the ideas that. He had wanted to, uh, you know, uh, uh, put into practice uh, in the mid '80s when uh, he and Scully were having their uh, their their problems with one another, and um, you know, within literally a period of months, uh, the company became profitable again, um, and you know, began to capture capture began to capture people's imaginations. Um, uh, you know, with a with a you know innovative and uh, uh, you know, very compelling, very sexy series of products. Uh, you know, starting with uh, with with revamped Macs. Uh, you know, ultimately uh, continuing into the iPod and then you know, most recently the iPhone. Um, and uh, you know, dramatically successful marketing. Um, you know, suddenly Apple became you know cool to have. It became the cool thing to have. And. Uh, 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 at the same time, it also had the you know kind of manufacturing discipline, and uh, you know the discipline in terms of product lines and you know that sort of thing. It began to send a clear message, and it began to execute really well on uh, uh, on its plans. And um, uh, you know that's that's why it's been so so successful.